Okay, so you can see a uh, look at the construction of this uh, of these decks. It's, it's impressive, you know. This is the typical 1980s uh, uh, stereo equipment uh, uh, quality. Look at this. The, the 70s, uh, 70s and the uh, 80s are peak when it comes to exterior equipment. Look at this thing. It's just uh, that's what makes it sound so so good, you know. It's just amazing, amazing, amazing. Uh, so you can see the the cassette mechanism. Look how big that is. Very very impressive. Very nice. That's what makes it sound so so good. So as you can see, once we remove this mechanism from here, you gotta be careful with all these wires, guys, because uh, you don't want to pull any of these wires. It would be it would be hard to to find a a what you a, a what you broke, you know, with, with in the middle of all that nest of wires there, you know. So then, I mean, I think the, the, my only uh, complaint about Iowa was uh, not making this deck uh, much larger, you know, so you have more more space in the boards, you know, and 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 less wires, you know. But these guys, they knew what they were doing because they say these Iowa decks are pretty much the uh, they're pretty much kings when it comes to recording. Uh, it is very very hard to to beat one of these Iowa uh, recording. The recording abilities. Uh, is is second to none, you know, second to none. Okay, so let me see. The first thing I'm gonna do, guys, is eh, I'll be removing a eh, these eh, screws right here. See, so you see one, two, and then eh, and the 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 the, the front plate already removed. You can see this the cassette eh, well a eh, cover is already removed. And then I I think I remember I had to remove one of these eh, one of these over here, you know, one of these right here. I think it was this one that I have to remove so I can have more, more play here. So we're gonna take care of this now. So let me let me start removing screws, okay? And remove the screws, and then I'm gonna show you the trick on how to remove the this part right here. So it's not easy. It's a little tricky, okay? Okay. So let me take care of this. I forgot to mention when you remove the cassette mechanism, you also have a, a four screws at the bottom. You have to remove, so you see, one, two, three, and four. Okay, so four, four screws you have to remove in order to to move the the cassette mechanism backwards. Okay, okay, so let me do that right now. Okay, so I move the screws at the bottom, and then the ones at the top. Notice that the ones at the top, a, eh, they, they they're a little bit different. You know, they kind of uh, flat, flat on the on the head, you see the ones on the top and the ones at the bottom are a, a little bit more a more a rounded, you know. So be careful with that. So the next step would be uh, we I have to remove this a uh, this screw right here. You see this one on the side right here? That's the one I have to remove now. And then and that's gonna allow me to move this back and then I'll be able to kinda kinda play with that uh, with the mechanism there, you know okay and this board i can also move this board out of the way because i can see the the connection we're gonna let me check let me check that let me check this so once you remove that screw you see this thing uh, this is gonna come out you see let's see okay so let me yeah let me let me take care of this I, got, I need two hands so the, I'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna show you how to to get this out of the way you know let's see Okay, I got it. So just pull this back. You see this, this thing right here. That's for the uh, power bottom. You see. So this right here, it goes inside this. Uh, this is the power bottom right here. So right now it's just inside there, floating. I'm gonna move this out of the way now. Move it on the side like that, and then I'll be able to kind of wiggle and play with the with the mechanism. You know. All right. Let me let me take care of this. So you see, I was able to get the mechanism out. You just have to kind of, uh, uh, kind of work it, uh, work, work your way out out of there, and then uh, you just be careful you don't hit that ball right there too hard. You see? And you see, and this, you see, because there's so many wires that you cannot unplug, you just, you just have to kind of work uh, with what you have right here. You see, that's that's the only thing I have. That's the only space. So I'm gonna have to go in. The, uh, I need to go inside the the. The, the mechanism now so I'm gonna have to start a uh, figuring out uh, which are, which are the uh, screws that I have to to remove okay so let me let me let me figure this out I did it before you know so it's just a 
you, you kind of forget, you know, <laughs> if you don't do it every day, you know, you forget, so. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna unscrew this, uh, you see the screw right here at the bottom of the, of the cassette uh, well. You gonna, I'm gonna unscrew this one, and then uh, this one is flat, you see. So that's the difference, this one's flat, and then this one's a uh, little bit more rounded. So I'm gonna remove the screw so I can bring this, uh, the, a. Uh, the deck uh, forward you see okay okay so once i remove those screws you see it's gotta work you can open completely the 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 deck like this and then i'm gonna have to see i'm gonna have to then i can i can have space to get into the let me see i have to find a way to open the, the deck i can i have access right there to the either tire you know I can see from here now. So I'm just gonna have to figure a way to open this up more. To open it completely, you know. So let me see how I'm gonna do that. Okay, let me figure it out. I think it, I think I have to yeah, I have to press on this one. On this right here, you see? You see this right here? I have to press it down so I can I can open the the deck yeah that's what it is okay so let me let me let me check it first with both hands so you see once you press that in everything you see then everything comes out this is this is very complex i i like i said that's the only thing uh, 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 that I, I i complain about i was it's just uh, it's just too much it's not like the other mechanisms you know that they that you can uh, uh, you can pretty much easily work your your way in here and this is very very complex very very complex so let me let me get no doubt to get in here i'm gonna have to remove this screw right here you see this plate right here you see this plate this screw right here i'm gonna i'm gonna have to remove this plate right here and then uh, that way i can move this out of the way you know okay so once i remove this uh, screw like i show you a uh, now i'm gonna have to a uh, kind of uh, lift this uh, right here you see I'm gonna lift this right here, and then I, I can get this uh, this bottom plate out of uh, pull it this way slowly, okay? Because it's gonna bring the head too. It's gonna bring out the head too, so you gotta be to be careful with it, okay? Okay. It looks like I will also have to move this a uh, this this spring right here. You see this spring right here? That's what's holding this plating. So I'm gonna have to carefully remove it, make sure it doesn't fly away from me. <laughs> and then uh, i'll be able to get that a uh, plate out of the way you know okay let me take care of this now i'm gonna use my my uh, trusted tool you see with this one i pull it out slowly okay. it looks like I, I don't have to remove the plate out of the way i'll be honest with you look at, i can see i can have access to it right here so i can just sand it right there i don't have to move too much stuff out of the way uh, i'm gonna kind of sand it right there and then clean the clean the spindles right here you see they need to be cleaned with really good alcohol and then I'm gonna sand this a little bit and then I'm gonna a uh, I'm gonna clean it completely you know you see this spindle up here too it needs to be clean everything has to be clean right there okay all right guys yeah something I noticed was that the a uh, the idler tie and the spindle you see that a uh, nylon spindle on the top that's what uh, the motor turns as a, a nylon spindle and it turns uh, uh, the idler tire you see but that it looked like that I uh, a nylon spindle is a little bit too far inside so I'm gonna have to kind of pull it out a little bit more so I have better contact with the with the idler tire I think that might, might be causing some uh, issues too you know so I'm gonna kind of pull it out like I show you with a small a uh, pair of pliers slowly I'm gonna kind of pull it out you know a uh, uh, just to so I have more contact with the with the idler tire because it looks like it's a, a it's kind of close to the edge and I don't know if you can see it. let me see you see how it's kind of close to the edge so I need to kind of pull pull the nylon a uh, a uh, that right there uh, pull it out with a, uh, just a, a couple of millimeters out you know okay you look like a, a I'm gonna have to kind of uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna unscrew this I'm gonna remove this screw right here too and this this place so I have more 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 movement in there you see so i can have a little bit more movement in there more more access to more space 
so I was able to pull it out a little bit now and, and you can see now the the spindle and the and the nylon a a, a idler right there is it's a it's on in the middle you see that's what I want that's what I want a nice nice contact right there in the middle not at the edge okay now I, I'm gonna do the little trick I'm gonna put a little a little bit of a, a never never put super glue but a little bit of a, a that's regular glue inside that little hole in, on the nylon tire you know so you can hold it in place you don't want to put too much just a little bit just to hold it in place let it dry so because at one point you're gonna have to take it off you know so okay let me take care of this now okay I got it I put a little bit of glue in the little hole and then uh, I'm gonna start putting everything back together so I see I put this one back uh, I was able to uh, uh, clean, uh, sand a little bit, and then clean with uh, some alcohol the idler tire. The idler tire is pretty new because I, I, I changed it uh, not too long ago, you know. So they can fail. So don't, don't think just because it's new it's not gonna fail. Yeah, they always, they fail no matter what. <laughs> okay, guys. So let me take care of this now. Okay, I just was checking on that mechanism. A little correction, guy, uh, guys. Uh, so, in order to remove, uh, kind of move this plate uh, out of the way, the first thing you want to do is uh, 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 remove this uh, screw right here and this plate. And then the second thing would be to remove this uh, this screw and this plate right here. And it's gonna it's gonna move much easily because once you have to to put it to put this plate back, you're gonna have to uh, you're gonna have to move this this out of the way anyway. You know, so because you see this one goes at the bottom and this one goes on, on top. So now right there is pretty nice and pretty nice and secure you know okay so now let me start putting everything back together now i have to close this plate and then a uh, and start putting everything back together guys okay okay let me take care of this now okay i'm putting everything back together so you see just be careful with the bore in the back or you're putting the mechanism back in place okay so just let me work my way in there because I need both hands just to make sure I don't I don't pull anything, you know. But that will pretty much make the deck <laughs> uh, worthless, you know. So let me take care of this now, and then we go. Uh, and then I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna uh, test it. Like I'm gonna put everything everything back together. I'm gonna have to kind of show you how to put this. Uh, this is for the eject right here. You see, so make sure everything is pulled out you know make sure this one too is out eh, all the way out so you don't have no no problem a eh, 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 putting a eh, everything back together once the once the especially this one you see the other one i'm gonna have to the, the other one's gonna be easy the power one the, the one that says the jack is the one that is a little bit hotter you know all right so it looks like i'm gonna have to remove this a eh, nylon a uh, idler again because uh, the it looks like the motor is not working so i'm gonna have to check to see what's the problem okay let me see if i can take care of this now okay guys so i have a tape a uh, i have a cassette inside so i'm gonna play it now okay so it's playing well you can see because it's turning inside the lights I just noticed the left channel is a little bit lower so I'm gonna have to kind of correct a little bit of that a problem there you see so it's nice to close there yep. nice to close yep nice and tight okay so yeah we got it we got it fixed up now